Biasha, from your from all the trainings that you have been working with, what is the main need that you you're seeing with the standard one teachers? I saw there is a need for teachers to have English mm -hmm. language, both in terms of the content, English language content, and also in terms of the method that they'd be using to teach children in school. English is a challenge in terms of teaching because of conversation level and comprehension level as well as knowing how to teach English effectively. Um, so we decided to come up with a training and brainstorm some ideas on how best to, to help uh, improve the confidence level of standard one teachers in speaking as well as teaching English. Um, and decided that video technology based on the curriculum and by um, creating a training program that can be used at teacher centers for in-service teachers and for teacher trainers um, or subject advisors at the teacher centers to use um, as a way to model and show b uh, best practices as well as give them ideas and activities. We actually started the production process by identifying the topics that we, that we would need in the curriculum and then we tried to find consultants who would train us in the video script writing with our script writers and uh, once we did that, we had to find consultants also who would film the video uh, uh, modules that we have developed. Okay. The process at the beginning was very challenging because many script, many script writers here, they have no idea of how to write a TV script or video script, so it's their first time. Sometimes script come and it's difficult to shoot, so we have to sit with them again and start a discussion on how we can organize the script again to make it clear that we can do something. Go! Walimu, meona mifano ya maamkizi ya siyo rasmi. The whole process is not a, a joke. Yeah, it's hard. When we start, you know, we are all blank in the production of video. Now, I know how to edit, I know how to shoot, I know so many things in videos. Because we are better. I don't need to be bulldozed. Because we are better. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, it was a little tough, a little bit tough uh, uh, in teaching in front of the camera, because you did or oh, you do three things at a time. You have to speak with students, then you have to to not uh, not to look at the camera at the same time and also not to look at the video production because the video production uh, staffs are in front of you. Hello, this is Melo. Who is? Hello, this is Nadia. Who is speaking? Hi. In the initial production of the first video module, it was a very long process for both the script writers, the production team, and even the management. And we had to go back and forth in terms of what, to find out whether what we have written is working and to what extent it is working, and how could we change and improve on what we have written in terms of scenes. Because we've been so used to writing the audio scripts and changing into video scripts where there's a lot of more, a lot of show and tell rather than hearing or for, for audio purposes, it took us a while to sort of come up with what we really need in terms of quality output of, of the video. We are preparing for the training, putting on the screen, putting on the objectives and the timetable that we'll use. So we are preparing before the, the trainees, the teachers come ready for them. When they come, we only start. Giving Velo instructions. Please, come in. Thank you. Please, close the door.
I think uh, it's the one thing that we've learned from the process too is how important it is um, to be creative and imaginative in, in teacher training and to think outside the box a little bit. Um, and this idea really came from the teachers that we're working with and trying to find a creative way um, to work with them and to help them and to model for them. Um, so we hope that this kind of the, the use of technology and this is just a, a starting point for other technology. The radio that we've been working with, also the, the video te technology and the MP3 is just a starting part for these teachers because I think um, the teachers that we've been working with are so excited by the by using new technology and having that kind of accessibility and it opens a whole door of, of possibilities beyond just the face-to-face -face or the cascade training.